We're back with Power Boating in Paradise TV, featuring the annual Emerald Coast Poker Run, which kicks off from the Florida Panhandle at the Helen Back Cafe with Boat Week parties. The Helen Back has a casino night theme, which raises a ton of money for local charities. It's also the first chance to check out some of the cool, high-performance boats. Thursday night, the party shifts to the Swamp Nightclub in Fort Walton, featuring the annual Miss Boat Week contest. It's Friday afternoon and that means it's time to fly and time to get out on the waterways to check out the Poker Run course. The Friday Fun Run is a chance for some of the out-of-town boaters to get a, a first glimpse of the Poker Run course and find out where some of those waypoints are, where the Poker Run cards are. Here's Ronnie Paul in his 46-foot Outer Limits. He's a local guy just out for some fun today. This crew is all the way from Georgia in this 42-foot Fountain Executioner. Barry and the gang come every year. Our Friday afternoon run was cut short by some rain showers, but it certainly didn't dampen the spirits of these uh, beachgoers here for the Noriega Point Friday afternoon beach party. There's always hundreds of boats here and everyone's meeting having a great time. Probably one of the number one activities here for the Emerald Coast Poker Run. Nighttime shifts to AJ's Seafood where they did the Poker Run kickoff party. AJ's always throws a good party for us and what a fantastic display of boats. Saturday morning was the final chance for a captain's meeting at the Ramada Beach Resort before the teams headed out on the water to hit any one of 10 checkpoints all the way from Sandestin to Pensacola. At AJ's there was a ton of boats so it took a little while to get the group emptied out and the Sea Blaster at Crab Island got the first card. Special thanks to John Woodruff for flying his helicopter for us to help out with this year's television show. Always a lot of smiling faces, always a lot of friendly crews. If you want to have fun on a poker run, definitely the Emerald Coast Poker Run is the place to be. Here's Dave and Jan Newman, local boaters who attend the Emerald Coast Poker Run every year in their sensation. Don and Alice Lightfoot come all the way from Texas in this big 43-foot Nortec powered by huge turbocharged chief engines. Here's one of our newcomers all the way from South Carolina. This is Alan Bruce and his 33-foot Eliminator. Altogether, teams can visit 10 checkpoints from Sandestin to Pensacola Beach, but here at Navarre is Juanas Pagodas, one of the most popular checkpoints every year on the Emerald Coast Run. Here's another team from Texas. This is Brian Cole from Texas in his 42-foot fountain. Jim and Lynn Archambault are from Georgia. They're attending in their 43-foot Nordic. They come to this event every year. Special thanks to the Emerald Coast Tourist Development Council for staging this Leonard Skinner Beach concert at the boardwalk. Hey gang, welcome back to Power Boating Paradise. Stu Jones here with the Florida Power Boat Club, and I'm here at the landmark Emerald Grand Resort in the heart of the Emerald Coast. And you know what? It's almost poker run time again. It's only spring now, about four months away from the big 19th annual Emerald Coast Poker Run. And I've got some great news to share with you now. This is going to be one of the official check-in headquarter hotels for the Emerald Coast Poker Run. We're still gonna keep the Okaloosa Island, Fort Walton Beach location at the Ramada Beach Resort. For those of you who are staying down in that end of town, you can check in there and there's a captain's meeting there and it's all good. Plenty of reservations, plenty of places to stay. The Four Point Sheraton, the Destin West Resort, as well as the Ramada Beach Resort. But if you like staying over here on this end of town in Destin, right here on the, in my background here, you've got the Destin Harbor, of course the East Pass right here, the Highway 98 Bridge, and Crab Island and it's Poker Run Central. We're gonna make this a headquarters as well, and if you like rock star accommodations, this is the place to do it. The Emerald Grand Resort has two bedroom, three bedroom, and four bedroom luxurious accommodations for about the price of what you'd pay for a standard room on the Key West Poker Run during Power Boat Week. Go figure, no question that the Emerald Coast is still one of the best values on the Poker Run Tour. We want everybody back this year, the waters are clean. No, there's no oil in the water. There wasn't even any oil in the water last year. The waters are clean, the beaches are beautiful, the parties are planned, and it's gonna be all kinds of fun. It's in August, August 13th is the date. Boat Week starts on the 11th with a party at the Helen Back. This Boat Week on Thursday night, 
the kickoff party at AJ's on Friday night, and of course, the Emerald Coast Poker Run all day Saturday with big prizes, including a car. So remember to join us this summer with members of the Florida Powerboat Club for the Emerald Coast Poker Run, which is going to be headquartered right here at the beautiful Emerald Grand.